A portion of this video is sponsored by EOS. This room is big enough for two And I wanna do that something Something that will blow your mind Do you know the things you do to me? Touch me and I'll make you understand Yeah, she be mine, mine on level We did on level, she be mine, mine on level Yeah, we did on level, she be mine, mine on level Hi guys, it's Angui and welcome back to another vlog. For today's vlog, I have a realistic maintenance kind of routine. I haven't done one of these before. You guys have seen my travel prep and it's kind of similar, but I am not traveling anywhere this time. I'm just prepping for the Asha K concert since he's going to be in town this weekend. But before we get into that, this portion of the video is going to be sponsored by EOS. So recently, I think because the seasons are changing, I'm starting to get some dry spots on my skin. So I have to make an extra effort to keep my skin moisturized. So I have been using the EOS Shea Better 24 hour moisture moisturizing lotion. I'm really excited about this product just because of how luxurious and high quality it is, but also how affordable it is. You can find this product for under $8. So this body lotion provides 24 hour moisture as well as protection for dry skin. The formula has shea butter and shea oil in it, which work hard to moisturize your skin. So as you guys can see, I'm putting the lotion on right now and it's such a light, creamy and soft consistency. I personally feel like this product right here is lightweight and fast absorbing and it leaves my skin feeling instantly smooth as well i was pleasantly surprised i feel like the fragrances of these lotions is also what really takes the cake so the scents i have here are vanilla cashmere pomegranate raspberry fresh and cozy and coconut waters my favorite scent by far is the vanilla cashmere listen to this whipped vanilla soft musk and cozy caramel this is the perfect scent for the season right now especially when you use this scent at night imagine just putting this on putting on your pajamas and getting ready to watch a movie this one literally like you smell delicious like it smells kind of like you want to eat it but don't do that how cute are these bottles these are gonna look so cute in your bathroom this product is conveniently located in your local walmart so you should definitely run not walk run to go and check it out i highly recommend them like just try it out when have i ever did you guys wrong so thank you so much to eos for sponsoring that portion of the video and let's get back to my content all right so as i was saying today's video is going to be a realistic maintenance vlog so you guys know me my maintenance is quick and easy i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of what i do i will say more so of the, like the everyday girl i don't really spend that much money on maintenance but that's because i don't really do a lot i don't get my lashes done i wear false lashes just because it's easier i've liked getting my lashes done in the past but i just don't like the upkeep of it like having to go every two weeks to do something else like i'm already irritated having to get my nails done every um three weeks or so to the point where i push it back as far as possible so i don't i don't like having so many like maintenance things to do so this is going to be like a realistic maintenance vlog showing you guys what i do and i just decided to film it because i was like the weekend was coming up i'm getting ready for the asher k concert and i'm like you guys want to see me anyways like you guys are always saying that just put out a video just put out a video so here i am to put out a video so i hope you guys like it once the video starts i'm not gonna be looking like this i look good now but like before i was yeah before i was looking to know so if you guys want to see how i keep up with i guess myself and how i look like this make sure you guys keep watching this video i do promise to do a makeup tutorial for you guys soon so if you guys do want that watch me getting ready make sure you comment on this video right now like it comment down below and i'm only gonna do it if enough people comment it down below i'll do it make sure you like this video as well and subscribe yeah let's just roll into this vlog hopefully it's not too long it shouldn't be too long like i said i don't do too much but uh, yeah i'm just gonna let you guys see i'm gonna let you guys watch it i'll see you in the next Scene. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you
my hair I'm gonna just finish laying me I feel so pretty guys like this hair turned out so bomb how is it working with it when you bleach the knots it was great <laughs> we love it we love it like her hair is giving what it's supposed to give period so this is gonna be like my new look for the Asha K concert and you guys know I'm always saying new look and I love doing a side part but I've been rocking that short bob for like since march and we are now in september it's been on and off though but like i've been going back to that bob a lot and it's because i really like the look and i feel like it made me look more classy and grown up i wanted to go back to my side part and i'm still classifying this as a new look because i don't think i've done a side part like this short and i'm gonna put the hairstyle that inspired me fatima right here i love the way she does her hair the hair actually was this color surprisingly you guys know like, that i always get my hair dyed jet black straight out the package she just breached the knots and um did you pluck and stuff too yeah and yeah but it was like minimal plucking so this this was a really really good unit my hair is from yolisa hair by the way i'm gonna link it down below this is a 13 by 4 hd lace frontal wig literally i'm so in love with this hair it has so much body so much luster and shine like i'm literally obsessed it feels so soft as well the unit started off as 20 inches and you guys saw like we cut it to like here so now it's like here when it's curled and like this is the exact length i wanted like i was telling alma like let's cut it a little bit shorter she was like no this is perfect and it actually ended up being literally so perfect like i'm obsessed i'm just glad that i listened to her and let her do what she needed to do right now i'm about to order an uber to actually go get michael in my car because he dropped me off earlier at the appointment but i forgot that i still had my key in my bag so he turned off my car and he wasn't able to lock it not able to like start a push to start up again without the key next to the car so now i have to uber to him get the car and then like we're gonna go get our nails done and stuff like that so i'll see you guys when i get back to my car
And as you guys can see, I'm in the gym. I'm in my apartment gym. I did a little switcheroo. I put my hair up, and we're at the gym. Oh, by the way, I love my nails. I went with the classic French tip. I don't even think I showed you guys at the end, but they're so cute, aren't they? Can you see them? Okay, so now we're at the gym. This is the next stop on my realistic maintenance routine because you need your whole entire body. You cannot just be your face, your hair, and your makeup, and your nails. You need your whole entire to feel good, look good. The gym makes me feel energized. And it makes me get my blood pumping, and it also makes my body feel good. Yeah, I wanna be healthy and physically up to par, so that's why we're gonna do it. Here to get fit, we're here to be fit babes. I'm basically starting my fitness journey all the way over again, I don't think like, I've probably said that like a million, billion, trillion times already, but it's the truth. I feel like a lot of us start and stop our fitness journey, but as long as we keep coming back and starting, and then eventually we'll get the hang of it and be consistent. But here today, since it's my first day back after like about a month or so, and I was just really sick, I'm still kind of like recovering from like allergy slash the cold, I am going to be taking it easy today. I would normally do a workout from Pretty Fit J, my trainer, but today I'm just going to keep it really Really, really simple and do like some squats and just like a really quick full body workout so if you're here you guys can do it too I'm gonna put the workout on the screen put the workout in the description and let's go yeah. ain't sweet ain't funny look it's blue tints on my hundreds life been going how I want it yeah. life been lit just how I want it yeah yeah now she talking like she want me yeah Hey, wave. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do a compound movement. Um, like I said, I'm gonna just kind of be full body, so I'm gonna be using my arms and my legs in the first movement. You can start off with just squats, but I'm gonna be doing squats and an overhead press. So the movement is down and above my head. That way, we're getting both our legs and our arms. So I'm just gonna do 12 reps of these and keep it going. Wave. Look, life and let your side want it. Okay, and right after, I'm going to be moving up a weight. So, this is five extra pounds, so this is a 20. I can definitely deadlift more than this, but I just want to keep it like moderate today with my weights because I don't want to be super, super sore tomorrow. Normally, if I'm just starting back, I would like have a little bit more weight, but I have a concert to go to tomorrow and I'm gonna be out and moving about and I don't wanna be sore. Moving up just five pounds and we're gonna be doing like a deadlift kind of thing. I think I'm gonna do 12 of these as well and this is right after with no breaks except for me explaining it, but yeah, we're hitting this right after. I got a little like stressy, I be finessing, don't low in my section, built like a blessing. I got a little like stressy, I be finessing, got my muscle flexing, my money stretching. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. I love, it's blue. So I only did two sets of those, and now I'm gonna turn it up a notch, and I'm gonna take my 20 pound and do squats with this, but I'm gonna do pulse squats for a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just the 12, let's get it. It's on my hundreds. Ay, life been going how I want it. Yeah. Big bands like a main event, already paid the rent. Feeling like winning my favorites. Boy, I was made for this. Flex mode on gym rat, I been that young legend. Oh, them boys came with it, I ain't shy, I'ma let them know. Okay, guys, so next we're gonna be moving on to lunges. I got myself some 10 pound weights. We want to even it out, same weight in each arm, and lunges are great for a full body day. If you don't know what to put in your full body day, put some lunges in. They're good for a lot of stuff, and it's a nice compound movement. So we're going to do 10 there, 10 back, all together, it's 40 lunges. Let's go. All of my bitches be multiples of 10, I'm fed to win, uh All of my n****s be comfortable with sins from his to gin, uh Be hatin' because I been ballin' and they gotta ride the bench again Ain't gotta wonder, I know when she callin' that she tryna ride that again Keep it a C note, cause it's D-League, they could be more I brought the A-game, grippin' them B-cups by the seashore Fillin' up my rubber band one Alright guys, well, that is the first bit of our full body workout I kept it short and sweet, like, I'm not tryna tire myself out Like I said, I'm just getting over being sick and and now I'm gonna move on to abs. I always like to throw in abs at the end of like my full body workouts, just a little bit. So let's go. Honey band, I need that. Big dog, no small bark. I'm cool on your feedback. Yeah, ain't sweet, ain't funny. Look, 
it's blue tints on my hundreds Life been going how I want it yeah. Got look like stressin' <laughs> I be finessin' yeah. No low in my section Ay. Built like a blessing that tea. Got look like stressin' Wave. Life been going how yeah. I want Got it Got my muscle yeah. flexin' Okay Alright guys well, I'm tired now. That is the end of our little full body mini workout. Hopefully you got a workout or two. That's just something short that I'm doing today. Like I said, if I had more energy, I would do more, but don't push your body more than you can handle. Like push yourself, but you need to know when enough is enough. And especially if you haven't been working out for a while, you want to do something moderate to get back in because you don't want to be painfully sore the next day to where you can't walk at all. So that was good enough for me today. I might do another workout tomorrow morning or something to make up for it, but now we're gonna go ahead and shower and do a little bit more of our makeup tutorial. Hi guys, well, welcome back to the shower part of my, yeah, I, well, yeah. Welcome back to the body part of my vlog. I'm gonna be taking a shower now, which is part of my maintenance day, like normal. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, hold on. So welcome back to the shower part of my vlog. This might be a little bit awkward, but I'm gonna speed through it so it's not. So first thing you wanna do is hair removal, and I use a hair removal cream to get the lights off of my hair. I showed you guys like that in depth in another vlog, so I'm gonna link it so we don't have to do all that today. But now I'm gonna go ahead and shave my armpits. I tried to use hair removal cream on my armpits, and I, I liked it, but then I think I got like an ingrown hair. I don't know, it didn't really work for me, so I'm gonna go back to razors. So I make sure to use a five blade razor whenever I do use a razor and I only keep it for a week it kind of looks like it's gone because I always buy the razors that have like the built-in moisture stuff and you wet it and you shave so I'm gonna go ahead and shave my armpits so now we're gonna scrub our body I got these on Amazon you can find them at a local African market as well and I'm pretty sure some other websites sell them but do not buy this sponge for over five dollars because because no First, I'm going to go in with my Method Body Wash. This is going to be the Coconut and Rice Milk and Shea Butter Body Wash. So after that, because this is maintenance, I don't do this all the time, but I'm going to go in with my Glow My Skin Shower Gel. This has turmeric and honey, and I bought this from someone on TikTok. I don't know if it really works, but I like using it, and I can smell the different products in here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. The exfoliating sponge does do the trick, but I'm gonna go in with my Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub all over my body. Normally, I do use this sugar scrub on my legs, but as you guys saw, I did get my feet done today, so I don't need to do that part because we already did a lemon sugar scrub and I don't wanna over exfoliate. And then, no matter what, every single day, regardless if this is a maintenance vlog or what, I will go in with my honey pot and my gentle area. Sometimes on the regular, I do wash my face in the shower, but because I am going to be doing more than just washing my face, I'm going to be doing a mask and stuff, so I'm going to be washing my face outside the shower. So I'll see you guys when I get out the shower. I just finished the shower. My face is still really shiny and oily because I did not wash my face. After my shower, I went ahead and used the lotion that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. And let's jump into my face right now. I'm first gonna go ahead and use some micellar water just to take off the oils in my face because I did work out. Usually after a long day, like if I'm not wearing makeup and I feel like my face is kind of oily, I will go in with some micellar water before and this is also what I use to pick off my makeup on um, daily. Sorry if it looks like I'm looking everywhere. I'm trying to like look past my camera into the mirror. This is what this looks like and nasty I know but this is the dirt from the day and actually we will we'll double cleanse today. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Cleanser. I absolutely love the way this stuff foams. I don't even have that much water on my face. 
we don't necessarily have to double cleanse today, but I want to. Like I said in the beginning, like this is a maintenance vlog, but I'm not going on a trip. I do have like a big day tomorrow. I have like a concert that I'm going to. I'm gonna be out all day and I need to look good or whatever. But I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C cleanser and I like using this as a second step because it does cleanse your face, but I would like, I would never wash my face with this after I'm done like wearing makeup. I would use this on a day where I don't wear makeup, but I feel like this is just a good like second cleanser and I love, love, love vitamin C. It instantly softens and smooths my skin. Like, I don't know if vitamin C does that for you guys, but that's exactly what it does for me. Vitamin C serums do that. This um, face wash does exactly that. I'm gonna add some more water to this and rinse it off and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going in with my face towels and these are just like face paper towels actually. I'm trying a different brand from Amazon this time and they're not as soft as the first box that I did and they were more expensive and I don't even like, like how they were packaged in the box. So I'm gonna go back to the original but, but the other ones have a smell but they were much softer. Face mask time. Let me grab my popsicle stick. I was going to use my Dr. Dennis Gross ultra gentle daily peel here I believe I showed you guys this last time because I feel like it does a good job of rejuvenating my skin but I did have like a pimple the other day and I don't know if I have like open skin so I feel like a uh, peel is not like good right now with the like the way my skin is I didn't even show you guys an up close of my skin yeah I feel like my skin is really bad I don't know if you guys can tell but it's definitely like I'm having like a lot of chin acne right now and I have a lot of dark spots and it's mostly like my chin is my problem area and that's like stress and hormones yeah so let's not use the peel today i'm gonna do my burst doctor's visit instant resurfacing mask everyone was raving about this on tiktok and i actually did like it the first time i tried it i only tried it once we're gonna go ahead and try this today and this is also like a really quick mask as well you only need to have it on for two to three minutes the consistency is kind of like jello i don't know if you guys can see the way it's in there and the way it's moving and a little goes a long way yeah like even that might be too much but your maintenance when you do it i don't know if it's weekly or bi-weekly you don't have to do the same thing every time like it, it just has to be like kind of similar so you can like kind of follow a routine but you can change it up take some steps out sometimes maybe i don't feel like getting my brows done i won't do it you only get a wax once a month so you know like it's gonna be different every time you try and do your maintenance and i for one don't try and make like my maintenance pretty and stuff or like jazz it up for the vlog because they like, this is what i do like this is literally what i do and the steps that you guys didn't see me do that i actually did get done yeah i got my brazilian wax done and i was six weeks overdue so it wasn't even supposed to fall till now but i was like let me get in there because like i got sick on sunday and then i was like in new york and i was going out all last week like girl i've always been a fan of sugaring because of like the benefits to sugaring on your skin but i'm gonna be like a wax girl from now on because the pain is just it's more like quick sugaring it kind of tugs at the hairs and i feel like if you do have like a lot more hair sugaring is going to be more painful than waxing is and it was supposed to be the opposite way but now for me ever since moving to atlanta the wax is better it's quicker i also got my eyebrows done yeah i got getting my eyebrows threaded i like the way that it just looks and i last for me let me go rinse this off with some cold water and i'll be back Good i'm going in with my nice and my toner from good molecules my discoloration serum from Good Molecules. Uh, people swear by this stuff. I haven't been using it consistently enough to be able to tell a griffin. I don't know if my face is looking a little bit red. I am kind of like rubbing the face and doing a lot. I would go in with my, my Sunday Riley treatment, but I don't have any more. I need to make a Sephora run tomorrow and I need to pick that up. But I'm gonna just use my Vital C is the matching moisturizer to the cleanser that I showed you guys earlier. I was gonna use my vitamin C serum from Image skincare but I'll just like that's kind of way too much vitamin C. Last but not least I'm going to be using my Vital C eye recovery gel and I'm supposed to be patting this in. I have been struggling with bags under my eye for the past for two weeks ever since like I was sick and stuff I wasn't getting enough sleep and then these past few days I have been getting enough sleep but the bags are still there. Tomorrow I'm gonna try ice rolling. I'm gonna put cucumbers over my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put some balm on my lid. I'll see you guys in a second.
so I brushed my hair and I put on a cute pair of pajamas. I also put on some pimple cream as well because I want my red bumps to go down. By tomorrow, I made myself a cup of tea. I ate some of rice and chicken that I made the other day and I made myself a cup of tea as well and I'm about to hop into bed. Um, the book that I'm gonna be reading today, I already started this, I'm almost done. This is A Week to Be Wicked by Tessa Dare, the novel that I am currently reading. And then probably when I finish this, I'm gonna start another book on my iPad. And I've actually been using this app called Hoopla for borrowing books from my library. So you should check your library's website and see what app they have for you to be able to download ebooks. And that's what you can use to check them out and read them on your iPad. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. <laughs> I'm about to drink my tea and do that. This is like probably scorching hot. Yeah, my pajama set is from my friend Jazz. This is her new brand and this is literally so cute. It's so soft as well. Like, I feel so luxurious in this. I can't wait to be walking around my house in this in the daytime as well. Um, I'm gonna link this down below. The brand name is on the screen. Yeah, so I'm about to hop into bed, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this realistic maintenance vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye guys.